What is going on, Collector? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Dress. Here to drop some jewels, okay? Pick them up when they trinkle, ding, ding, okay? Mm, yeah. Before we get into this, guys, okay, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and I appreciate it so much, okay? I am open for personals. If you'd like to book with me, you can only on my website. It's listed in the description box below, okay? Um, yeah, that's the only way. We're gonna leave it that. Okay, so... It's been a while since I've seen, like, crows like that. Like, I've been seeing all types of other birds but crows. But it was, like, mad weird today. Like, i just seen, like, this one crow. And if you know the crow saying, is one for sorrow. So, I'm just like, what What the hell? And it's like, what the hell? Um, it just flashed me to a dream that I had. But it's like, stick to this crow thing. You could be seeing spider webs as well, okay? Or spiders. A lot of spiders, okay? And then it's this one crow for sorrow. So, I... I pulled a panther. I was going to pull cards, but as I was shuffling to get into the energy, I, you know, I would, every time I cut, I would see the energy. So I'm talking to a feminine energy, okay, an empress energy, more so to speak, okay? Um, or, yeah, th th this is an empress energy, a very nurturing, loving energy here, okay? I feel like you could be coming to the assistance of someone, or you could be finally receiving some sort of aid. Somebody tried to send some sort of demon towards you to steal your blessing, okay? Like, literally, I saw it was disturbance, robbery, blessing, okay? But it it didn't work, like, it, it didn't work, okay? I felt like somebody else is now, like, they're wreaking the havoc, the backlash, the backfire of whatever it was that they sent towards you, okay? Somebody was really hoping to steal some sort of blessing from you, okay? Some sort of assistance, like, your healing. Somebody wanted to steal your healing, like, literally, like, these things of joy and peace, Okay? from you but it, it didn't work out that way like it backfired on them like you're still standing strong in your empress your divine feminine energy okay as i say that care okay three empress energy for me when i read it in this okay yeah somebody's definitely trying to cause you conflict 30 for 30 like this is like a documentary or like somebody's gonna have a testimony or something like that okay when it comes to all of this at the end of the day okay but um let's see father god I call on divine Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, the God, no clear, concise, accurate messages that the collective needs to hear. I call on Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael, trying to protect me in the portals as I channel this message. Father God, at this time, I ask that anything sent to harm me, my children, loved ones, or the collective. Father God, I bind it up and rebuke it in Jesus' name. I ask that you keep us covered in Jesus' blood, opening our roles and allowing for those manifestations and blessings to pour into our life abundantly. Okay? Yeah. In Jesus' name, I say and amen. There's evidence here. Somebody was trying to curse you. Like, it's. It, it's I'm hearing it's too, it's too seen to be unseen. Like what somebody has been repeatedly, like it's too obvious what somebody has been doing for it to not be obvious anymore. Like I'm hearing, like it could have been like a, it could have felt like a string of bad luck or whatever, but it's like, it's obvious that somebody is like literally doing something at this point. Somebody is manipulating the energy. They're playing in the roots. You know, they're playing in the graveyards. They're, they're like, they're doing what they're doing. Okay. Somebody is doing the most. They are conjuring up the most. And it's obvious right now. Like it's obvious, not only to you collective, but also to the people around this person. Okay. It's obvious to people around you. Maybe, um, skeptic. P, you were telling people like someone was doing stuff to you and that somebody practiced dark magic and was doing all type of stuff. And maybe people were looking at you like you were crazy or they didn't believe you or whatever. But now like it's obvious, like somebody like they they're seeing that it's obvious. I don't know if like if I'm hearing for some, they could have went against this person or like decided not to like do something for or with this person or give it to something that this person was trying to ask them to do or whatever. And they started realizing like this trend of things started happening to them. And it could have possibly been like the same type of events that were happening to you. So say like you went through like a period of struggle, right? Like homelessness, losing your job, almost feeling like you're losing your mind, like everything just like going to poop, like every time you turn around, like bad luck, right? This person, like, you could have been trying to explain this to someone else, right? Who could have been affiliated with maybe the energy that you're like, look, they're doing this type of stuff. And maybe they didn't want to believe you or whatever, want to look at you like, nah, it's you, it's you, whatever. They watched you go through this. And it's like, you've healed, you've broken off these curses, you right? You, you've done your work, you've prayed, God saved you, your ancestors got your back, all of that, right? So it's like, now that, you know, things are working out for you, like, you could have did a lot of cord cuttings or, you know, could have even, like... Hell yeah, returned it back to sender. You return shit back to sender, okay? I'ma hold it. You return shit back to sender, okay? 
And I feel like, you know, like your energy has cleared up, right? You've opened back, your, your roles are back open again. But it's like the person like who could have been a skeptic about you or wasn't trying to believe you and, and hear out whatever you were saying about this karmic energy. I feel like something could have happened between them and this karmic energy or whatever, where now it's like their life, they're starting to go through those same things that they saw you going through. And they're now like trying to figure out like what the hell it is. Okay. Um, and it's like, they know. I feel like at one point they could have been trying to blame you. This person could have even, the karma could have even been trying to say, oh, well, no, it's the, the, it's the collective who's doing this to you. Remember when they was going through that? Yeah, that was their karma, da, 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 da. But they're just like, well, no, because collective, you know, they bounced back through all of that, you know, and when they was, they told me that somebody was doing this to them and now they bounced back and it's like, you know, they said, and I don't feel like this person could have told this karmic, like that you collective could have said it was them necessarily or whatever. But it's like this person is now putting two and two together and they're figuring out that it is this karmic. Like the person that you said was doing this stuff is is they're really doing this stuff because they're now experiencing a lot of bad luck or whatever. And it's because this karmic is mad that this person like they can't blame you. And this person is not believing this karmic when this karmic is trying to say that you divine are the ones who's doing this dark magic and causing all of these mishaps. And, you know, you're doing like you're doing the work. Right. So, yeah, like and I feel like this one crow is like sorrow, like somebody is like, that's it. Like it's done. The evidence is here. I'm getting like case closed, like somebody being found guilty. OK, um, I heard lose life like somebody could literally like be losing theirs for playing with theirs or something like that. Yeah. So it's like get ready. Forty four. You were protected this whole time. OK, it was like this karmic was allowed to do this so that everybody could really see that they. They're a terrible person. I feel like this is somebody, um, I'm hearing clergy. So I don't know if this person could have like been like, they're like highly religious or like looked up at, like people were looking up to this person. Like they were a good person or whatever, like highly respected, but it's like everybody is starting to see like the dark side of this person and what they're, what they're really into and what they really do. Okay. I feel like a lot of the energies that were around this karmic are now, you know, starting to, I'm hearing succumb. Okay. They're starting to experience a lot of upheaval, okay? A lot of mishaps. They're having deaths in their family. They're take, they're having a lot of financial losses, a lot of struggles, okay? And they're all realizing, like, it's like they had um, a separate group. There was a separate group where they all sat or like a group chat. Or I don't know. But they figured out the common denominator is this karmic, okay? Hold up, guys. Okay, so that phone call took me, took a long time. So we're just going to hop into the cards and see what we got going on. Okay, yeah, it's, it was the third party. It was a karmic. It was somebody on the outside. But this person is now realizing that everybody else is seeing it too, like I was saying. They're all now going through things because this karmic is now putting stuff on them for going against them. And it's evident now. Like, they're, they're seeing who it is. So, like, this one crow that I saw represented this sorrow of, like, everything coming to, like, this karmic going down. Everybody seeing who's the real culprit, you know, and pretty much, like, you divine feminine, like, you being cleared, Okay. So, yeah, look, friendship, 72, okay, team connections, the network. Yeah, the mask is falling off. Everybody that this person was working with or used to try to use to come up against you, they're all saying it. Their mask is falling off. Um, Those people who were their friends are no longer their friends. Yeah, this third party here, okay? I feel like the friendship between whoever um was uh, affiliated with this karmic energy, this third party, nobody is, like, distant, like, messing with this person. Like, they realized this person was really an enemy. They weren't working for them or working as a team. This person was really out to do stuff for their own selfish gain and their own selfish need. Like, at the end of the day, they really didn't care about none of these other folks either. Okay, yeah, and it's evidence. It's evidence. People see this. There's proof. Somebody's bratting out, too. Yeah, afraid. 62 in reverse. You're not afraid. This is why they're pissed off. I'm like, why is, why is this in reverse? You're not depressed. You're not oppressed. You're not paranoid. Like, I feel like, and this is what somebody wanted to project. Like, look at, the, look at, look at Divine Feminine. They're the, and it's like, no, Divine Feminine is easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl, cover boy, whatever. Like, they're good. They GQ, okay? Because men, what? They GQ magazine. Like, you, you easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl, and he's GQ. Like, the Divine Collective is okay, okay? And, like, somebody is pissed off because, like, they really thought that they was, like, put, somebody was trying to put fear in your heart. What? Yeah, with these disturbances that they was trying to attach to you, 57? I feel like... <laughs> what is it? I get those boosters. Oh, I'm out here. I get them goosebumps every time. But it's like, um... 
you and those demons are like I'm hearing like y'all became friends, like y'all friends. You cool with the demons? You cool with the other side or something like that? With the Alliance Eight Leo energy, like. I feel like they showed up and it was like a dap up like, oh, what's up? Like, what you doing here? Oh, they sent me here. Oh, what up? <laughs> oh, my bad. We got to go. You know, whatever. Go 26. Yeah. Moving on. They's like, oh, hold on. Wait, we ain't supposed to be here. This ain't where we supposed to be here. Okay. Like, yeah, they reached the destination of you and was like, hold on. Wait, what we doing here with you? Okay. Yeah. 26, 62. Okay. Because that's 26 when I'm looking at it like that. Right. Whatever. But um, they was like, hold on. Wait, we ain't supposed to. Or like these demons. I feel like they're afraid of you. The demons end up being afraid of you. And it was like, nah, we just gonna go back over here, okay? It was all a part of the plan, though. I'm like, look, all these phone calls, we is not doing this. Let's get this message out. Like, no, we is not blocking this message, okay? Because I definitely put that whole lot on the trolls, then, okay? Yeah, we got illness here, 35, 46, okay, family. Yeah, this person could be finding out they're sick or somebody in their family is sick, okay? Ten of Cups, Pisces Energy. Or disease has overtaken this person's home. I see it like a lot of static or whatever. Okay, this and I, okay, so what's that? The ring. Like this person is being haunted. Whatever they sent towards you has came back and it's affecting this person's home life, their family. Okay, they're seeing shit in their house. Okay, and like I said, a lot of the people that they were dealing with started seeing shit too. And started having a lot of bad things happen around them and stuff. A lot of supernatural activity. Okay, that skeptic thing is coming back again. Those who were non-believers, they are firmly believing. And they are seeing who the real de demonic culprit is around here. And his energy. Yeah, from all these rituals they were doing. Mmm, child. Okay. Somebody going through it. Yeah, there is no calm here. There is no peace. They're pissed off. They're irate. Somebody is like... Skip like losing their mind. Yeah, they are not okay. They are not okay. They are not okay. Okay, they are not okay. The devil is not playing with them. Fifteen. Okay, Capricorn energy. The devil is not playing with them, and they do not like it. It is not okay. What they want it for you is definitely is at their door. Is in their house. I heard it's in their skin. Yeah, this person is having nightmares. They're losing their shit. Seventy five. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Why they were saying everybody is seeing this. I feel like this person could even like. I just seen Martin, the, the Martin scenario with him running down the street butt naked. Like, this person could, like, literally be losing their mind, doing a lot of, like, bizarre activity, okay? Like, they could be running around naked, but this is justice here. The Libra energy, okay? This is justice. This is what they get. This is what they want for you. They want you to go crazy. This person's going crazy out their mind. Like, I, I don't know why I'm seeing this shit. It's like, oh, my God, did you see the big prime mantis is going to attack me? Like, they, they're losing their mind. They're seeing shit. Yeah, this is justice for that robbery they was trying to commit. For them trying to steal from you. Steal your blessings. Steal your gifts. Steal your energy. Steal your insight. Steal your life. Okay, yeah. This was not a part of their fate. They was trying to change 14. 14. 10, yeah, is the number. Okay. But fortune was what I was trying to say. Mm-mm. Clear that up. Clear that up. Clear that up. Okay. Fixed energy here at Leo. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. It was, but it, it was not for them. They was really trying to steal your gifts, steal your destiny. It was not for them. Okay. And now they unfortunately at this. Somebody really didn't think they were gonna get caught or thought that this was gonna work. They really did. Yeah. They was not expecting this this ending, this brutal ending. Okay. Seventy nine Scorpio energy. Whatever they was trying to cause an ending for you, and it did not happen. Okay. You're on to a new beginning. Whatever like losses that you did take. They allow for you to have this beautiful, new, abundant beginning. What is this? Yeah, blind, nine, Virgo energy. Okay. Something is no longer awkward. Like, everybody is seeing. Like, and with blind and reverse, like, everybody sees that this person is not okay. Everybody sees that those dem demons that they was playing with and sending towards you are now affecting them. They're seeing that this person is that like is an actual walking demon. Like these, they're possessed. This demon is on them. It's on their show. Maybe like is there a monkey on my head? Yes, it is. There, there is a monkey. There's a demon on their head. Everybody sees this shit. Like they can't unsee it anymore. There we go. Once they see it, they can't unsee it. Like they have seen things of this person and they can't unsee it anymore. Jealousy, envy, greed. Desire to destroy another being for no reason like and a lot of people are now really trying to figure out like well What was this person like? What was the what was the reason? 
They had no reason. They had none. Everybody sees it. They can't bribe these people anymore. 52. Like I said, nobody, they ain't got no friends. Everybody seeing that they really the culprit here. That they was coming up, a emp up against an empress. Yeah, indulgence, 47. And you get to just go off and like live life and be okay. And I feel like everybody else who was working with them or whatever, they done cleared their energy or got away from them, okay? And they're just, they're living fine. They're living lavish. These people done repented. There are a lot of people who done repented and turned away from this energy here. And now they all sitting around talking about this person. Why this person losing their shit? 22, origin. The folks that they was dealing with from the beginning. Okay? Yeah, heavy on that. Somebody could definitely have like brown hair or be a brunette or something like that. Strong. We're going to pull the spirit says that. Spirit, what you got to say on this? Because you, you speaking. Yeah, they be stalking your webpage. They, like, yeah, like they cyber stalk you everything. Like all of this is falling back. Now everybody is looking on their page and seeing what they're going through. Yeah, somebody could be Jewish. That fell in my lap. Her greed, greed, okay, Egypt, okay, somebody could have Egyptian bloodline ties, okay, this person's running scared, they want to probably come back around and be like, I'm sorry, now they want to be sorry and stuff, you're trying to apologize to people or whatever, on a side note, you got somebody who want to come in and be with you and only you, because they realize that karmic ain't shit. They realized it was really this karmic who was out here playing in this dark magic and casting shit and burying shit and dancing in graveyards and doing these rituals and shit like that. Pulling all these cards and shit. Paying for all these readings. Trying to block destiny, trying to swap energies and shit like that. Somebody realizes and sees that now. Yeah, they could be spam calling you and stuff from like fake numbers and shit like that. Okay, you a pearl, okay? Oh yeah, look, that's a gem, right? Look, I'm dropping some I'm dropping some gem, I'm dropping some knowledge, baby. What the karma said, I thought I stole the prize from you, but I now realize this junk you gave away freely. I'm stupid pissed. Yeah. This could have been like a relationship or some shit. They could have like distorted your person or something like that. Put your person in a distorted energy and okay. Okay. I see what's happening. So you could have been with somebody, right? It could have been your divine masculine or whatever. Maybe, and they became distorted because this karmic was putting a lot of magic, doing a lot of dark magic, dark work and stuff on this person, on y'all relationship and stuff. Maybe this person didn't believe you. But now that they seeing, like, as you're, you done detached yourself and broke the core, like, cut the cords and broke the bonds and started focusing on you and healing you, this person sees that you weren't the issue and that the karmic truly indeed was the karmic. The karmic was trying to steal the energy signature of a divine, mm -mm, of a divine empress, Okay. And now this masculine now sees that this karmic is really, truly, indeed karmic, okay? And that you are a pearl. You are a gem, okay? Like, pearls are in clams, which is like, usually be like underwater. Like, they be at the bottom, okay? So it's like, they, they try to keep you at the bottom and thought because, you know, you was this closed up clam, like whatever, like you was closed up or whatever. They didn't realize when they opened you up, like the beauty in you of this pearl, of this, of this stunning gem, Okay? Of your worth, of your value, okay? Mickey Moto. Somebody could be of Asian descent, but um, yeah. And now it's like they're leaving this person. Like they realize this shit. They realize who is really doing it here, okay? And the karmic could have probably thought, oh, you know, I stole the masculine from the the divine feminine, whatever, because I'm the real. Yeah, and they see that I'm the real feminine. I'm posing as the real feminine, and I done stole this mat the. This divine masculine, but it's like the masculine that they stole at the time was no longer divine. They were distorted because of all of this stuff that they had been doing while this masculine was with this other feminine energy, which distorted this masculine out. So to the karmic, when they finally got this masculine because divine feminine walked away, they thought they stole a prize in reality. No, it was junk because they had destroyed this masculine's image, this masculine's energy. But now this masculine, I feel like, has woken up. Somebody could be Italian, okay, or have Italian descent. This masculine has woken up and realized that it's really this karmic that they left a true divine feminine for or that they was fucking around, right? They fucked around and found out that the person who was trying to pose as a real divine feminine was really a karmic, was really the one who was doing this dark work and stuff. Because then they started noticing like, yo, my life is really going to shit dealing with this karmic energy. And they separated themselves. This karmic is pissed. Because everybody is seeing. 
And I feel like it's this this the masculine who is this, I feel like he's stepping back into his divinity. Yeah, somebody could drive a Kia. Okay. I heard this bitch is losing her breath. Like 444, your protector here, collector. They could have wanted a heart attack or something for you. Somebody wanted you to stop breathing. Okay. And that's what's happening to this person. Okay. Yeah, look, they got full blown AIDS. They're sick. This, this, okay, this, this bitch. That's what I heard. This, this bitch. This the bitch who going around trying to say you got shit and you spread a shit and you doing shit and it's them. Everything that they keep trying to lie and say about you is done. It's like literally they're taking their own pages out of their own diary and trying to read it off like it's yours. Man, if y'all could have just seen my face. Never mind. You're an artist here. You're creative. Okay. Somebody name could be artist or an art. Okay. Or again, this person is like a con artist. They conned a lot of people. Okay. Yeah, this dark witch. At the top of the deck, okay? This dark witch with the full-blown AIDS. Dark witch with the full-blown AIDS. Dark witch with the full-blown AIDS. Yeah, and they keep trying to um send things to, like, hurt your car or make you get in an accident or trying to, like, tamper with your car or mess with your stuff in general, okay? That's okay. They gonna be carless and all of that, too. Them damn selves, okay? What we got here, spirit? What's going on? I don't think this bitch is sick. Look, we got lupus. Okay, immune system weak, immune system low. Okay. Brazil, they thought somebody could be a Brazilian descent, but they thought they was untouchable. They thought that whatever sicknesses that they was trying to put out here and say that you had, that they were uh, that they were immune to the sicknesses. But no, they, they have them. And they can't take it anymore. Like they're sick. Like they're they're actually like physically sick. Okay. Yeah, because they were sending this to you. And like I said, what I what did I say? They've been trying to avoid it. This is happening to them. It was not a part of your fate. They was trying to make this your fate. No, it was theirs. This bitch is sick. And now they about to be taken out. I'm here and gone too soon. Like somebody is saying that. I don't know if they family. Oh, they were so young. Yeah, but they was young and dumb. Young, dumb, and broke. And broken. This is somebody who should have really just, I don't know, got a therapist. Healed them, healed them wounds. Healed them issues. Like this is really giving strong daddy wounds or some shit. What is this? Yeah, the initials F L R X Z. First, middle, last name. I'm also getting a street name here. Okay. And also a car, make, or model. So it could be like a Ford, a Lamborghini, a Range Rover. Okay. Whatever. The numbers one, three, and sevens. You could be seeing those. Okay. But yeah, the magic hour is upon us now. It's here. Somebody about to find out they're not the father to this kid. This person been lying for a long time, trying to keep it on a low with this undercover here. The last two to three years, a lot of things have been rolling out. Your ancestors are saying they are not your friend. They are using you for their own selfish needs, get new friends, or be a loner. So for the last two to three years, like these people could have found out that this karmic was not really their friend. Okay. Because they was watching what they was doing low key. Okay, they could have even found out that this person was lying and pinned a baby on somebody. Like, they seen, they, all this person's dirty secrets are all being uncovered. Yeah, Thursday. Today is Thursday. Okay, somebody is finding out how much of a liar somebody is. Okay, like I said, somebody is dying. Okay, somebody could be going on hospice. They're dying. All right, this could be a brother here. Okay, or this could be an aunt. Something is clearly coming to light. Okay, or Sunday could be relevant here. Also about money. Somebody was trying to do something for money. Okay, probably a life insurance policy or some shit like that. Yeah, but mm, okay, people won't have to try to shell out money or find money to pay for this funeral or some shit like this. Something is coming to light about a twin flame, a marriage, a union. Okay. About th these twin flame, about the divine feminine and this divine masculine coming together, coming back together. Okay, that's what it's about. 11, the only thing in your way is you. You're on the right path, so don't worry about that. Okay, Divine Collective, there's an angel here. You are the angel or there's an angel who is helping you out in the background. Okay, you spiritual as fuck. You already know what's going on. So just keep minding your business. Keep stacking your brain. Keep killing them with kindness because this whole could never. Okay. What else we got here? Yeah, this whole never. It's a attention whore. Yeah, they all they want to do was cause problems. And all the problems that they were trying to cause for you, they done cause for themselves. Okay, this attention whore. Okay, karmic confession. No matter what I say, people still like you. I, I wish you disappear. Yeah, and they wanted you to disappear so bad. Now, poof, bitch, you gone. Okay, yeah, they've been warned to stop fucking around with you. Somebody could drive a Dodge. They should have tried to dodge these bullets, but no, they didn't. Now, they can't take the heat, okay? Somebody could drive a Nissan, all right? Somebody could drive school vans, okay? Or drive for the school system. Hurt, okay? I hurt myself again. This person could be um, wanting to off themselves, take themselves out, okay? Your beauty. 
it's not, you're you're perfect you're perfect in every dimension okay with that mona lisa energy okay what is this every time you call she's never home you deserve so much more i can treat you better you don't got to go back home yeah this masculine is leaving this person they're going to where they need to be because they realize that this person is a thought they down for whatever okay what we got here because the cars, they flow the way they need to flow. 133, you're manifesting your goals, dreams, and desires. Okay, Re reflection. Okay, self-reflection. Like I said, you could be seeing ones and threes. 133, okay, confirmation. Thank you, spirit. You are the total package. And baby, ain't nobody got time. You don't got time. Like I said, you've been minding your business, stacking your bread. Okay, killing them with kindness, looking good, doing what you need to do. Okay, what we got here off the top. Yeah, you could be a mother figure, divine feminine. Okay. So like I said, easy breezy, beautiful cover girl, okay? It is what it is, all right? 884, you're protected, okay? You're you're protected from all this evil. You're immune from all of this. This bitch couldn't take the hint. They didn't get it. And they kept doing this stuff repeatedly. Now you got to go, ho, okay? Yeah, August, they could have did something strong with that um, Leo. Um, well, it could be a Leo, obviously involved, or a Virgo. But they did something strong with that Lionsgate. And it then came back and ricochet mad fucking hard on this person. Yeah, at the end of the day. It done, it done hit their ass, okay? They couldn't wait for their time, okay? But now it's your time to shine, and they got to watch it. They have to watch it. They set themselves up and put themselves in their own fucking trap, okay? While you're sitting up here healing. Go Fucus. Shout out to y'all. What's up? You in the building, okay? November 30th to December 17th could be significant as far as dates go, okay? Somebody could be a doctor or work in medicine, or like I said, this person... They set themselves up for a trap with that abortion energy also. Like, they could have been lying and said they was pregnant. They was never pregnant. They went and had an abortion. They could have lied and said it was a miscarriage or something like that. And also, like I said, with this lupus shit, they set themselves up for a trap. They got a blood a blood infection or something or their immune system is already low and they don't set themselves up and they need to go see a doctor. They show the fuck do. Scorpio, death energy here. Not playing with you. Dominican Republic, they could have traveled here to, like, get this spell work done or do this shit or they could be from DR. Yeah, because you're a princess. They want to stop your princess treatment. Yes, okay. Cybersecurity. FBI on their we already just saw that they was web stalk um web page stalking. They keep stalking you and think that nobody know. Bitch, everybody know. Okay, even the FBI know. Okay, yeah, they're trying to hide behind the bushes, but everybody know. Everybody sees them. I also feel like they probably think nobody is looking or watching them. Yeah, but everybody is all like why they busy trying to look on you, other people are looking and seeing what they're doing too. Okay, yeah, it's all in the details. Everybody sees what they're doing, like I said, but it's all good. It's all good. It's just peachy. Somebody could be from Georgia, Atlanta, more specific. Okay. They going to learn today. They learn it. It's all good. They going to learn. God going to teach them. Hierophant energy. Okay. Or, or, or you divine feminine, you teaching them. You teaching this bitch how to fucking step up and level up. Okay. Exactly. Because this bitch got full blown A's. It's coming back out again. This is, this is confirmation. Okay. We don't seen it in the cuts. This is confirmation with that lupus and this. Yeah. And they need to see it. They got full blown A's. They got full the fuck blown AIDS. And I said, but and I was saying blood infection, blood infection. Yeah, they got full blown AIDS. Okay. That is just what the fuck it is. And they need to get over it. Okay. I mean, not to say it like that, but bitch, when you was out here trying to hurt a divine feminine and, you know, and distorting masculines and doing all this spell work and all this dark juju and, and burying and shit. Look, burying and shit, right? Burying and shit in the backyard and the graveyards and stuff. You wasn't thinking about none of those consequences. Mm -mm. So stop it. Somebody like the Rock Dior. Okay. We're going to get some characteristics. Okay, this could be yours, the car makes, the masculines, whatever, okay? Somebody wear visors, all right? Somebody got a crooked smile. What else? Somebody rock sunglasses all the time. You always hiding behind them shades, hiding behind feminine. Somebody got a booty tattoo, a tattoo on their butt cheek. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm trying to get through this nice and easy, easy, breezy, beautiful. Somebody always be rocking scarves. Okay, this person could be rocking scarves because they sick. They got they ain't got their hair. They they hair could have fell out. Somebody could have went through chemo. Yeah, cold to suck wisdom balls in. Okay. They going through like chemo treatments and shit. They trying to hide that shit. Like they ain't sick. Okay. Somebody got an afro. Okay. I heard a wig could be a wig afro. Somebody got veneers because they teeth falling out. Somebody got a lip piercing. Okay. What else? I heard warts. I don't know. I, I warts. All right, we're going to take that stack. What's this? Somebody got long hair below their shoulders. Like I said, somebody got brown hair or brunette, right? I, I, I said that. Somebody got brown hair. Somebody rocks Tiffany. Somebody rocks the Mark Jacobs. Somebody rocks the Van. Somebody got blue eyes. I'm picking up contacts. Somebody got chops as in sideburns. Somebody got a bald head. I'm telling you. Okay, that's why they always rocking scars. Somebody wear Ralph Lauren or Polo. Somebody is below 4'2". This could also be a child, okay? Or it could be a midget or a child could be involved. Somebody rock Asics. Um, somebody wear full locks. Somebody has actual real dreadlocks. Okay. Somebody has dimples. It just wanted to throw this over here. So the person who might have full locks or rock Tiffany's and stuff, they got attached earlobes and has a personal piercing below their waist. Okay. Wink, wink. 
um, yeah, short nails. Okay, somebody got short nails. Again, scarf. Somebody definitely got like cancer or lupus or some shit going through treatments or something. They trying to hide. They trying to hide their sicknesses and shit from people. Okay, some this person with short nails. Yeah, random hair color because they wear a lot of wigs and shit. Okay, because they 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 they're sick. All right. Um, but random hair color could be dye, bleach streaks, could be a wig. Somebody wears prescription glasses. Somebody rocks a J. Crew. Somebody be wearing a glam makeup. Okay. Somebody got an arm tattoo. Wear fake lashes. Okay. Somebody got perfect teeth out here. It could be because of veneers or literally somebody really got perfect teeth out here in these streets. Somebody is six feet to six two. Somebody got facial tattoos. Okay. Somebody has small ears and they be rocking the North Face. Okay. North Face. The North Face. Um. Yeah, that is, let's expose them a little bit, okay? We'll get a little bit of exposure going. I don't know what made me pull the deck apart that way. Black Obsidian, you need it, guys. Make sure you're carrying your protection stones and doing your protection. That's crazy. This card is not supposed to be in Yeah, this person is going through a lot of bad luck from this root work. It's crazy. When I went to cut and part it, y'all see how, the, how these cards is right here? This was laying just like this. And it's not even supposed to be in here, okay? Bad luck. Because of this root work. They was doing root work that have, make you have bad luck and make you miss opportunities, make you be broke and homeless and all of this. And look, now they, they got the bad luck. I'm going to put that right there from all this root work that they was doing to you. Your protection has been working. Okay. Yeah. They, they, and yeah, they keep, they was trying to convince all these people that it was in the details. People realized they was trying too hard to distort your image, to distort you. They was trying too fucking hard. Yeah. Tricks the spirit. And I was like, oh, well, it wasn't supposed to be like that, bitch. Whatever. What the fuck ever? Because you sick and everybody sees you for the fool that you really are and how low life you really are. Okay. Mm. What is this falling out? Yeah. They hate all your creativeness and your ideas. It's a raggedy bitch. Okay. Very evil and demonic. Okay. They could have a voodoo doll of you. Okay. Yeah. But your spirit team got your back when it comes to this individual. Like I said, they can't touch you. They can't get up on you. None of that. What is this? Yeah. The person calls you negativity is an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Don't gotta be their sun sign. Could be their sun, moon, rising, south node. Cause I ain't gonna say nobody in a north node doing this shit. Okay, could even be their Venus. You need to get a dream catcher and hang it over your bed because they keep trying to tackle you in your dreams because they don't know what's going on. They keep trying to peer into your life. Like I said, they paying for readers and everything. They don't know what the fuck going on. They, and they, they like throwing rocks blindly. And they don't know, who, they don't understand why like shit is, is hitting their back. It's hitting them back because they're not throwing it to you. Okay. They'll claim I did it first knowing damn well they got inspired by you. So this could be somebody like say if you in the spiritual community, this person, uh, oh, they're only spiritual because I'm spiritual. No, bitch. You saw what the collective was doing and you hopped on the bandwagon. You are a follower. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They mock you when they feel jealousy towards you. Yeah. They could have been talking about you, you know, transparency moment. Okay. Whatever. Or because I look, I, I've seen this. I've seen this. Okay. It's like when I was a CNA. My ex-husband, baby mother, she got her friends and everybody else who she ever she could to sit on a bandwagon with her to go and get me. These were people who did not know me. Never seen me a day in their fucking life. They sat up there when I was a CNA and they sat, when I tell you they was trying to, trying, keyword, trying to drag me through the mud for being a CNA. Oh, go wipe some ass. Go do this. But then turn around and ask people, well, how much does a CNA make? Bitch, go sit down. Like you weird. OK, try to mock, being jealous, mocking me or whatever, whatever, whatever. But then get inspired and want to go and do it and say, well, I was doing it first. It was my idea first. Bitch, no, the fuck it wasn't. Yeah, they post stuff about you. OK, instead of coming towards you, but you don't pay it no mind. You don't give no fucks. OK, yeah. And they're mad because you pay them no mind. Like I said, that's why that flew out in reverse. Give me one more here. My phone dying. Yeah. And then they trying to blackmail you and, and trying to get dirt on you to use later. But they don't have nothing. Like I said, they're right. They're reading pages out of their own diary and trying to say it's you, okay? And they'll play victim once they know they're losing. They know they're losing. They done lost. Checkmate, ho. Checkmate, ho. Let's get some size and placements real quick. I might have to be a, um, I'm splicing the, the, this video a little bit more so my before my phone die. Size and placements, Father God. Who is this? Who is this? We got Mercury. Virgo or Gemini energy. We just saw Earth sign, so double confirmation on that, Virgo. We got Pluto, somebody who was talking shit behind your back, trying to hide rock, but it's all coming to light, okay? Trying to hide the rock, hide their hand. Signs and placements, what we got here? We got an Aries coming out, okay? Who else? 
Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Or again, tyranny, trying to come in and just talk shit, spread lies about love, spread lies on this emperor, trying to gas this emperor up or whatever and destroy him. Look, boom, there's your Virgo. Told you, bitch, you is trash. Give me one more. Give me one more. And I'm sorry, you know, to my Virgos out there, but it, it's some Virgos out here who've been popping up. And I've been noticing a lot of like between my readers and other readers that I be watching, like my faves. It's a Virgo out here who on that bullshit. Like, seriously, okay? And then we got a Leo out here who's on that bullshit. Like, seriously. All over love. Venus, okay? So, Leo, Virgo, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay? North Node, South Node, Pluto, Mercury placements. Could be involved. Like, that. That. that's what it is. Okay? You or them, honestly. But this is this is, this is is the T. This is what's going on. All right? Let's get a Moonology. What we got here, Spirit? Yeah, a win-win outcast. A win-win outcome is in the forecast for you, Collector. That's all you need to know, okay? For when the Libra justice is being served, it really doesn't matter, okay? Yeah, show the world the real you. Keep shining, okay? Keep healing. Keep being that healer. Keep being that beautiful beloved that you are because this person, this karmic ain't nothing but a hater. And they, they get in there and they're just mad because everybody sees the real goofy-ass clown. So, yeah, like I said, my phone was going to die, so... It did, did. It definitely did. So, splicing in this last piece, like I was saying before, it cut off. Continue to keep showing the world the real you, okay? Full moon in Aquarius, the healer you are, that healing divine touch that you have. Keep being that. Keep pouring into you and pouring in, you know, to other people. Keep doing that kindness, right? Keep killing them with that kindness. Keep stacking your bread. Keep doing what you're doing. At the end of the day, you're going to be good. Like, you're good. This karmic is going down. So, final message. What we got here, divine Holy Spirit. It says, it's time to put, <laughs> it's time to put that shit to rest. That's what I wanted to say. But it says, it's time to hit the reset button, clear out the old so that the room is available for the new to enter. Trust that better things are coming fast. Prepare to move to the next phase of your life. This is your rebirth. Welcome this beautiful brand new energy. You got this. Yes, you do collective. Karmic wasn't stopping shit. Everybody sees them and they see who you truly are and your divinity, okay? And be clear about where you are putting your focus right now. Focus on your desired outcome. You have everything within to create the life of your dreams. Stop doubting yourself for once. This is your time. We've got you. I believe in you. I'm proud of you. Like, this is beautiful even still at the end of the day, you know? But again, I'm here for it. If you need to go deeper, you need to know more about your story or whatever, you know, boom, boom, boom. Your girl is here for you, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, I love your face, but never, ever more than I love you guys and all your lovely support. Until the next time we speak, peace out.